Hi everybody, I hope you're having a great day. In this video, I'm going to be covering Spider's Man. He made his first appearance in spider Geddon, issue number three, that was released in November of 2018. This being has the persona of Peter Benjamin Parker from Earth 11580, but to be clear, it is not Peter. Now, for all intents and purposes, the being has approximately the same characteristics of Spider-Man. Being around five feet, 10 inches tall, although the weight would be variable, as well as him not having any eyes, any hair, or any true skin. Although it would have comparable moderate to high level superhuman strength, moderate superhuman speed with vast superhuman agility, and having very high survivability, although I would stop short of calling it true durability. You see, Spider's Man is actually a hive mind of thousands of separate spiders that have collectively possessed the memories of Peter Parker. And this combined with the fact that they were already genetically modified is what gives him his powers. And there's one more unique perk that he seems to have, which is the potential to be immortal, seeing as how his consciousness is spread throughout the entire swarm and that any one of these spiders could potentially go on and multiply, carrying his consciousness with him into the future indefinitely. Now, we first see this universe's Peter Parker as a gifted young student that was invited with his friend Gwen Stacy to take a tour of Max Modell's very advanced Horizon Labs. It just so happens to be that the two friends stopped to look at an experiment of a massive colony of spiders that were being bombarded with radioactive particles, which was supposed to be genetically modifying them somehow. But to this brief observation would turn into a tragic accident when Peter fell into the colony itself, where his body was completely devoured by these ravenous spiders. However, we'd learned that these mutated spiders actually absorbed his consciousness, then becoming a singular hive mind that thought it was Peter Parker. It wouldn't be very long after that we'd see the hive donning a costume and calling himself Spider's Man, fighting crime all over cruel York. He'd really show up when the Goblin Queen's crew was wreaking havoc across the city, with the Green Goblin making the mistake of grabbing Gwen Stacy, just as Spider's Man arrived. And while he was preoccupied with the multiple goblins in front of him, he was snuck from behind by Jack-O-Lantern, who slashed at him, cutting the back of his costume open. But this didn't work out well for Jack-O-Lantern either, with him being horrified at the hundreds of spiders that poured out on him, going into his mask and completely incapacitating him. This horrified his buddies and they immediately took off. And despite Gwen thanking him and trying to convince him that they could actually reverse the process at Horizon Labs, he said it was too late for him to be anything but a monster and warned her to stay away from him. We'd later see this skin crawling hero when the spider get an event really kicked off, with him being recruited alongside other Spider-Men from across the multiverse by Superior Spider-Man of Earth-616 and Octavia Otto, who were looking to form the Superior Spider Army to take on the powerful Inheritors. It was around this time that the Hive started to develop a taste for human flesh, which it naturally tried to conceal from its allies, although it would later have a feast on the corpse of the Inheritor named Karn. And Spider's Man would become a bit shady too, entertaining a plot by Spider Norman of Earth 44145 to trap the Inheritors on Earth 616, which would effectively leave that reality to destruction, but it would stop them from threatening the rest of the multiverse. Soon thereafter, Spider's Man and Spider Norman would leave the group, both of them being teleported to the web of life and destiny. And before this dimensional hopping web could be destroyed by Spider Norman to trap the inheritors on Earth 616, Spider's Man would make sure to spread some of his spiders throughout all the different realities, giving himself a presence throughout all the multiverse. The next we'd see of him would be on Earth 616, spying on Superior Spider-Man for himself and Spider-Norman to plot an attack against him. But when Spider's Man subsequently thought he had the drop on Otto and attacked him on his own, the Superior Spider-Man would drive him off and actually capture one of the spiders before they could all teleport away. This wasn't good for this lone conscious insect. And after being tortured by Otto, this spider would spill the beans about he and Spider-Norman's plans. Now. Due to his powers and abilities and his influence on the Marvel Universe, for my 1 to 10 rating, I'll give Spider's Man a rating of 6, which is an expert rating. I hope everyone enjoyed this video. I'll talk to you next time. Be sure to like, subscribe, and join the new Sage.